I am Jamie Orr and this is my 1996 Volkswagen Go Harlequin which I got in the junkyard. Before we get into it, today's video is brought to you by the suspensionsource.com, home of SolarWork suspension and also the USA's biggest retailer of ST suspension, KW Beltec. And this car does now have a very custom set of STs on it, but we'll talk about that in a minute. First thing we have to talk about really is, well, it's kind of painted. Um, so that's a big deal. Um, Douglas, who did the R32 paintwork for Sean from Volkswagen, did a wonderful job on this. Um, we should also address that there's a motor in it now and there's a whole lot of new suspension components, chassis components, steering components, brake components, everything else. And that all happened up at SDP Euro in only 36 hours. The engine is physically bolted in, Black Forest Industries clutch, Black Forest Industries mount, lots of melee parts all around there, lots and lots of new parts. But there's a proper big video coming up from SCP Euro about that, hopefully right before the SEMA show starts. So that's 36 hours of craziness showing basically how to do a full chassis update for all the components there. But let's talk about the car itself and what's happened since the last one. So if you remember, there were great big rust holes. It turned out Douglas discovered the car had had a accident repair years ago using OEM parts basically, but this rear uh, panel and this side, and the car was a one owner car from new. So the very presumably very nice engineer in uh, San Francisco area that owned it probably knows the history of that, or it was done before it was even sold new by the dealership. But no more rust hole, everything looks wonderful there. Really, really impressed and happy with it. And it continues on to the other side. So this is the main parts that are painted. The doors, I don't even have the doors to get painted. I've been trying to find brand new ones and failing miserably. Today is Thursday. The plan has evolved because when we started, video number one or two or whatever, we had two and a half weeks. Now I have six days. And that's me pushing this back even. So the Atlas, here is the Atlas door in Tornado Red. Um, it's been finished. It's finished getting paint. So I need to go down to Douglas and collect it, bolt the hardware on the doors, etc. The new plan gets crazier. I'm going to drive the brand new 2021 fully painted Atlas Harlequin, 2,500 miles across the United States, coast to coast, to the SEMA show next Wednesday. I could leave until Thursday, but then I'll have to drive no sleep nonstop. And this is coming with it on the trailer. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna go cross country, Pan America, with a Atlas Harlequin towing a Golf Harlequin, both fully painted, fully customized, coilovers, everything. In the next video, we're gonna share the wheels because the wheels are absolutely magnificent. Um, so other updates. I'm still searching around for components. The headliner I still got to redo. I made this hybrid Euro US seat. So it's US foams, etc., European market seat covers and polo headrests. So it's not the original ones for a Golf Harlequin, but it's the correct material and just having a little bit more fun there with it. Steering wheel, I've not been able to find a brand new steering wheel. So answer below in the comments if I should run that steering wheel or if I should, here's some of the to-do list. Yeah. Um, or if I should go to a Harlequin style Benetton Momo wheel um, just sitting around. I got a few of those sitting around. In other news, hello to Matt from Crucial Wraps. Um, based in Pennsylvania. Um, this, we've got a whole nother video coming on this as well. This is great, great big news. Yeah, let's, we'll, we'll tease it a little bit. You, there is information coming on how you can win a Golf 8 GTI from Liquid Molly and myself, fully modified. This one is for illustration purposes only and legal disclaimers, no purchase necessary. 
Uh, everything will be handled by Look Molly, but that's coming up. So wild, this is a big video. <laughs> this is a really big video. So that's also going to SEMA. So I've got to get that finished, built. Um, that one's leaving sooner. So that one I've got to finish probably by the end of today, I think. Before that, we've got Recaros, we've got forged rotiforms, a bunch of amazingness. So on here, SCP Euro video will explain a lot more, but we do have the ST suspension. So we've got a red spring there. Can you see the spring in there? Blue. All right, you're picking up what I'm putting down. Same as we did on the Polo Harlequin. Green and yellow. So it's got four different color springs. ST Suspension actually offers a customizable uh, spring ordering service where you can request one color and printed text on the spring. But what suspension stores are gonna do, they're actually opening up a group buy. So you can, you have to call to order. You can call suspension source and order a set of Harlequin springs on your ST suspension from them. Um, the ST custom, it adds about hundred euros, give or take. Um, but basically um, it is a off the shelf custom option. Does that make any sense to anybody? but you can't order four different spring colors. So that is gonna be kind of exclusive from suspension source. Okay, other things. Uh, engine, after coming back from SCP Euro, I've been doing the cooling system. So it's pretty much wrapped up. Heater lines there are done. Got some little splices and things, which I think is okay. Tried to use OEM parts, spring clamps where possible. New Nissan's radiator is going to sit just a little further back so it's going to sit right there so i'm very very happy with how this is looking um i started to do the fuel system we're going to do the wiring from matt over at eurocraft he made a custom harness there which i'm now mixing in with the original one um this is the original firewall pass-through grommet so i'm going to de-pin these connectors which is quite a simple, fun little tool to depin them, push them through there and then put the connectors back on. So a little bit to do there. The floors are wonderful. California, very little rust. So really happy with this, putting in the original bungs, need to clean it up a little bit. There's the mess of wiring that I have to reassemble. The Atlas pedal for the accelerators tucked in there. <sighs> yeah, windshield, that's in that. Oh yeah. So. In the last video, Dan was here cutting the rear window out. Now he came and installed the new one. So that's done there. Basically it's full steam ahead. <laughs> um, it's, it's overwhelming when I think about it in too much detail. If I just think, oh, I only have to build three cars in six days still, I feel fine, ish. <laughs> when I break it down to, oh, I have to redo a headliner and I have to do all this wiring and I have to do the interior on this and we have to do all the doors. I know even own some of the doors. Mm, then, then my chest starts tightening a little bit. Um, but anyway, all very exciting. Um, Black Forest Industries are gonna be up here on Monday to help with the interior of the Atlas. So I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, okay. So to recap, Thanks to everyone that's helping, SCP Euro Suspension Source, everyone. Um, thanks to everyone who's sending nice comments or hints, helpful things, that's amazing. Um, this whole thing is very, very silly as usual. SEMA Crunch is real. I see the guys at Hoonigan are also doing more and more projects and they're in the same timeline, which is kind of funny. Uh, this car will be on the Hoonigan booth at SEMA. The Golf 8 will be on the Likomoli booth and the Atlas will be with Hengst. So that's all solidified, we're all good with that. The big, big news is I have to drive the Atlas on the trailer, which is outside. Um, the trailer is a little bit scrappy. Um, it's a custom ordered 14 foot one. So it's this cool shorter length one, um, a full US style trailer with the breakaway brakes, electronic brakes. So if, if there is time, I wanna paint this black. <laughs> and build an air dam here as a stone chip. I'm gonna replace the battery box. And from Wheel Pros, we're gonna put some alloy wheels instead of the hubcaps where the VW logos fell off. But for right now, that is all of the updates on the road to SEMA. There is six days to go. I'm gonna post this video immediately. I shot this 
Thursday around lunchtime. Um, yeah, big video coming from SCP Euro explaining all of this. I'm sorry that I'm just brushing over it, but they have proper time to edit and talk about everything that went into just this one part of the one project. So stay tuned for that over on their channel. I'll post up a link to it. Uh, otherwise, see you on the social media. Uh, wash your hands, wash your cars. Goodbye.